It was bad. It was bad. Um, I, what did you think when Talia told you she is going to be doing nails full time as a career? or something no no oh. not at all but if they're relying on my memory that's just not happening <laughs> okay um i feel like let's start with instagram because those are surprise questions for you okay well this one i think everybody knows the answer to but do you let talia do whatever she wants to your nails or do you choose i come in with ideas that do not get used how's that <laughs> so talia gets to choose that's a good way to put it but she she accommodates the colors i want sometimes so sometimes. that works so well Oh, the trouble is with that one is I like red, and as far as you're concerned, red is a Christmas <laughs> color. It is not Key. to be worn all year round. No, I don't feel like that. I oh. but, and it's not that I don't even like, like dislike reds. I don't know what it is about red. I've got something against red. I feel like I just see. I don't know. You see red so much in collections. I think that's it. Well, maybe that's it. That's enough red. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Also, we took her set off. We're gonna do some gel polish on her today. Did you always get your nails done, or did you only start when Talia started her career? I only started when Talia started her career. Let's let's rephrase that. Before I had babies, I had long nails. I had hair to the nines, I had makeup like crazy, I did all of that kind of stuff. Tons of shoes, tons of dresses, tons of everything. And once I had children, the first time I scratched Talia with my long nails, and I, these were natural nails, I never had my nails done. Um, first time I scratched her with my long nails, that was the end of all of that. And then when she started doing nails, it's like, uh, yeah, okay, let, let's try, let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna try and not talk over you because I wanna hear all your answers. I always wanna answer these for you. What's the one thing you guys can never agree on besides nail slash nail art? <laughs> oh my goodness. What do we totally disagree on, T? You and I are very similar. Even Steve says that. He's like, sometimes you'll talk and you sound just like your mom. <laughs> That's not necessarily a good thing for you guys to say. Um, I don't, I don't think we've actually really disagreed on things. No, I would have to agree with that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you like having the almond slash stiletto shaped nail? Those were pretty funky looking and I tell you, I got the most, oh my God, uh, reaction to them. Uh, than I do with my square shaped nails. Oh, I bet. Uh, oh, positively, yeah. uh, Vanessa just lost her mind. It was absolutely awesome. Really? Oh, Aww. yes. Oh my God, that's, those are the nicest nails I've ever seen on you. She's so sweet. She is, yeah. she is true, she is genuine, and that's what I love yeah. about her. I found that when, uh, when I keyboard, I keyboard with the tips of my fingers, and with square nails, that works out fine. Yeah. With these, it was like, okay, just a minute, this is not working. And no, it doesn't. It does not. Yeah. And so I was using the very tips of my tips, and they were so sharp, I was slipping and sliding over the keyboard. So I was creating my own words for the first little while. <laughs> uh, but well, and not only that, we made them long. Yes. We made them, and you went from natural to that. Like, that's a pretty that big was, jump. That was extreme yeah. jump. Yeah. Extreme jump. Even if to go back from natural to square long yeah it was a jump yeah exactly but once they um dulled down a little bit then i found i wasn't correcting words uh, incorrect words making oh, up my good. own words as much somebody asked were you ever a nail tech no oh my gosh no no i no <laughs> i've always been um office administration Has yeah it ever been like an area that interests you Nothing about the cosmetic industry interested me. I could see that. And quite frankly, uh, I could have done with some with some lessons <laughs> because uh, when you're wearing makeup, you kind of need to know what the heck you're doing. This is true. And when I started really getting into makeup, there was like YouTube, right? So yes. it could teach me anything that I wanted to know. Oh, this, this is a really popular one, actually. Um, what did you think when Talia told you she is going to be doing nails full-time as a career? It was a slow progression. So, 
Well, I'm see, curious to hear okay, your answer. So let, let's talk about the history of Talia. When you graduated high school, you went off to college, um, not fully knowing what you wanted to do, but you took some fun courses there. You took multimedia. What else did you take there? Uh, oh, God. The secondary education of Talia. That's a story all in its own, right? Uh, I did one semester of multimedia, which I loved, and I got into it because I wanted to do graphic design. And turns out I didn't wasn't very good at graphic design, but I loved video editing, mm -hmm. and that paid off down the road. Mm -hmm. um, but then I kept thinking there wasn't much of a career path in multimedia, so I think I'm on this hand. I just wanted to fix that one. Um, and this one's like super broken. I know. Uh, just let me know I, if I it's like know. bending too much or anything. Well, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't? And no, yeah. it doesn't. And I, I think that I'm just pleased that it it doesn't. It's super it strong. The, it has the potential. Yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely does. Yeah. Well, I think once we get some lumin luminary on it, it'll be good though. So once you finished at the college. Yeah. So then I transferred into, I did went to the university for like just general studies for one year and it I did terrible. It was awful. Like I flunked out of like everything, it was so bad. I can't even remember what courses I took. And then I decided that the university wasn't for me at that point. So then I went back to the college to do accounting. And then I graduated from that. And then when I moved back to the university, because I was going to get an accounting degree, I decided accounting wasn't for me. So I got a management degree. Right. Yeah. Um, so in my, and at that's all during this time, you're working at Safeway. Yeah. Um, and she, the reason she got doing nails is because Candace, love her dearly, and Candace got pregnant and uh, Talia would have to look for a new nail tech. And so Talia says, well, I, I think I'll just learn this. So it started off as a hobby and then doing friends and family. And um, I actually thought you were going to work in the business world. I figured that's where you were starting. That's where your your, your education was. So that's where you're going to be going. Eve, I don't even think Talia knew where her nail no uh, career was going. It was never supposed to be a full time job. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was supposed to be something so you could get your own nails done, do yeah. your own nails, and then from there it carried on. Um, I just I, I didn't think there was a career in it. Like truthfully. Well, I think now if you were to look back at how your career has evolved there's no way you even thought that you'd be going this direction no not at all not at all i want to just kind of try something and see how it works um so for nails like the reason i decided to take it full time was because my job that i was doing full time was ending and i was doing nails and i was getting busier and busier with nails um, at the time i was one of the only techs that i knew of that was offering like ridiculous nail art because um, nail art wasn't such a huge thing yet so I was getting really busy, my schedule was really full, and my job was ending. So I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll just give this a go. And I told myself I'd give myself a year, and if I wasn't at full-time clientele, then I'd go back to doing something in the business world. Um, but I was able to bring get full-time clientele within a few months, so that was great. But back to the question, what did you think when I told you I was going to go be doing nails full-time? Well, by, the, by the, that time it had evolved. By that time, yeah. your clientele had grown up, uh, or grown, not grown up, no one grows up. <laughs> uh, by that time, your clientele had grown, and I could see that this, okay, well, she can make this work. She can pay her bills with this, and uh, it's good, and she's got her education to fall back on if it didn't. But you weren't just doing nails. You were doing nails, and you were doing videos. No, not at first. I did two years of nails, full-time nails, before I even started a YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. Because then once I did videos, that kind of took off too. So mm -hmm. it's just interesting how it all... But I think if it wasn't a slow progression, like I almost wonder if I had just said to you, hey, I'm just going to do full-time nails. Oh, so this whole yeah. like yeah. progression of it happening. And I've said this in videos before that like the best way to do it is to start slow. Like keep your day, your day job. I've said that right from anybody who has asked me my advice. I said keep your day job because it's a slow trans transgression. Is that the trans right word? Trans trans transition. trans transition to get to full time. I strongly support her mm -hmm. um, her decisions. I, I was very supportive. I am very supportive. Both of my kids very supportive. Yeah, you've never really like deterred us. You've let us make our own decisions and figure it out as we go. 
Yeah, I'm a pretty good cheerleading squad ball by myself. Yes, you are. That's for sure. If your mom could pick having anything she wants in her nails, what would it? What would she pick? Feathers. Really? Out of all of the things. Out of all of the things. Okay, now that that is a difficult one, but feathers is the first thing that comes Why? to mind. Why? What is with you and feathers? I have no idea. <laughs> I just love how delicate they are. I guess I don't know. Do you love your feathers? Um, I love the. Um, I love the depth and dimension you get when you embed things because what I envision isn't what comes to mind or comes to pass. I mean, I think I'm a very one dimensional person and when you do things three dimensionally, it's like, holy crap. Um, my cameos, how can I go wrong with cameos? My half and half. Oh yeah, you, you like your half and halves, yeah. Thank you for introducing that, allowing me to introduce that because I, I just love it. Marbling, the quartz yeah. and the marbling. Right? Oh, okay, gosh. there's this account you need. I don't know if you follow them, but you should. Um, I need to share it. Dime, dime nails, is that what, mom? D-Y-M-E, dime nails? Um, look at her marbling. Like, it's just incredible. Like these. Oh my goodness. Like, I, I want to take a workshop with her. Like, look at that. And she, I think she does a lot of it with, like, art inks. Like, just so beautiful. I just love her work. And, like, I feel like this is, like, next level marbling. Like, this is marbling I don't know how to do. Yet. Yet. I just think that her marbling is just so beautiful. But I agree. I love marbling, too. It's probably my favorite thing to do, actually. The Talia always loved shopping. Oh my good God. Ever since I was, like, born. Well, and your dad did not stop that no. uh, desire either. I almost wonder if that's a lot of the reason why I like it is because it was like kind of like a bonding thing with my dad. I've always loved window shopping too. Like even like I can go browse a store for like two hours and not buy a single thing. Like I just love looking at things. Grandma's like that though too. Yeah. Um, your dad's mom, grandma. Yeah. Um, very much so. She can make a day of shopping. Me, no. Absolutely. Well, you make days no. of well, shopping with me, but you don't. I, yeah, that, but that's. Relax yes, for that's, me. that's to spend time with you and to spend time with you and your girls. Um, it's not because I can hardly wait to go shopping for so many <laughs> hours in a row. Have you ever made nails for your mom that she absolutely didn't like? I feel like this is a yes. There's a yes in there. Do you, can you think of one? I feel like there was one that we both didn't like. Wasn't there? We were, we were both just like, what happened We were here? underwhelmed. Was that? That was recently, actually. I don't even think I took yeah. a picture of it. <laughs> okay. I feel like we got a good story coming here. No, we, we actually we don't have a story coming because it's just, <laughs> it was just nails that I could hardly wait to get off. Um, they were the marble ones, weren't they? Is that the one you're no, thinking of? No, no. What are were, these then? They were brown and gold leafy ones. It was me. Mom gets to choose, and I was trying to choose something that was one of the latest collections you had, and none of the colors worked with me. So let's just do this brownie, beigey, goldy. Uh, what were your favorite nail sets Talia ever made for you? I know the answer to this one. You say it. Go ahead. No, you say it. They're asking you, not me, even though I keep talking over you. There was a set of nails that Talia did for me that was black, white, gold. And I keep asking her to redo these black, white, gold ones for me. And she says, no, you've had them done once. You can't okay, no, them no, no, no. You've no, had no. those done like More four <laughs> times. <laughs> well, they're still my favorite. We did them in red. We did them in blue. Yes, we we did. did them in like all of these different colors. We should redo them though. I wonder how, if I would do better with them now or worse. <laughs> You're right. You have done them for like me. You've done so the style in different colors for me, but they're not as striking as black, white, gold. And we did those when I was like a fresh newbie too. Definitely. I think it well, probably, we were, how long did it take me? Like forever. Forever. But we were working out how did they do this? You, you had this picture and you said, now how do we do these? And so the first time I was working through and I think the reason they were my favorite nails is because they were something that we had to figure out on our own and we did it and they turned out phenomenal. They were beautiful. Well, they were eye-catching. Yeah, they're very the striking. Of, they're the type of nails when you get them done that you find it hard to take your eyes off of your nails. How did you come up with the name Talia? Such a beautiful and unique name. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're going to go back to Rocky Balboa. We're going back to Sylvester Stallone and Rocky. <laughs> The woman that played his wife, her real name is Talia Shire. How can I not? 
Uh, and it is spelled T-A-L-I-A. So why Talia then? Because her last name was Shire, so we're going, to, and ours was Shear, so we're changing it up. We're changing up first name to last to match the na last name. So hers was Talia Shire, and you became Talia Shearer. Oh, was that why? That's how. Oh, That's interesting. How that I never actually ever asked that, like no, you why did. you changed it. I just knew that that's where it came from. It's I love my name now. I didn't always love my name though. The Tilia part? Yeah. Just because it was like it nobody was, had a no unique name, it. right? Well, I mean, people did, but like I always wanted to be like everybody else and have a name people could pronounce. And it wasn't until I got older that I really appreciated the uniqueness of it. Well, what I thought was cool was when you came home from working at uh, Safeway and said, I actually met uh, a man who's granddaughter's name yeah it's the same as mine I was young then I was like 18 I think mm -hmm. and that might have been one of the first times you ran across it mm-hmm have you ever felt that you're being too exposed mm -hmm. now when Talia is famous in the nail world it's interesting because I get that sort of question like often when I do Q&A's which I mean it's fair right like there's you put yourself out there yeah, but nobody knows me they know you no that's true we don't. We actually that. never talk about you like this. So, well, what is what is so funny is where I meet people, and I'm talking nonchalant because I'm talking about my daughter, just like they're doing, or they're talking about their sister, and I'm talking about my daughter, and then they find out that my daughter is Talia. It's an entire eye-opening experience for some people, and I'm like, okay, it's just Talia. And it's not. It's it's way cool. Okay, this gets super hot. So you need to go in and out, in and out, in and out, okay? You've been warned. And that's the out. extent of it. In. Out. Really? Yeah, it gets hot. In. And just if you feel the burn, just leave it out. You're just going to test it? See, I told you. Are you good? Okay. Just keep, make sure you do that for all of them. For how long? The entire... No, once you feel the burn, it's fine. Um, I see so many people. How did your mom feel about you making this your career? Now, I'm not sure if they're referring to YouTube in this question or nail, being a nail tech. But again, I mean, your career has taken off. It's taken a life of its own. It's gone a different direction than you even imagined. It Absolutely. Would. It's interesting. It's been an interesting evolution. Okay. Do you know the funny thing is, is I'm wired to be a mentor and you are as well. You think so? I like learning new things and I like teaching people how to do things. Um, and you're very much the same way. I really you like sharing your knowledge. I like helping people. I really do brings me a lot of joy. And I've never really understood the mentality of like not sharing nail products that you use or not like not sharing anything with your fellow nail techs. I've never understood that. That's because you're not wired that way. No. Okay, I think we're done with Instagram now. Let's move to my group, which if you're not in my group, you should join it. What were her expectations of the future for your nail career? My expectations for Talia was to be management in a business company is what is actually what my... So that's not being her, in the nail Well, that's industry? where her education was going, so that's where I was envisioning her future being. Um, again, in the doing nails, some people feel that it's a dead-end job. Like, it just you just, just, just do one thing. I have a video talking about this. I know that. <laughs> but the thing is, is... Her imagination, with her imagination, she can do whatever she wants, and she has proven that. And she continues to prove that, and she will continue to prove that. She's not done yet, guys. <sighs> be interesting to see what happens, that's for sure. I'm trying to think, are you wanting fall mom, or are you wanting brighter than that? I'm wanting a uh, brighter than that, because your, your idea of fall isn't the same as mine. I know, I'm like all into the... Mustard, yeah, no, no, let's not go there. Which is like, I don't know why. And I but I like the August. Burberries, I like the, the maroon wines, I like all those, the darker teals, the darker, the brighter greens. 
Okay, here's some options for us. I like this one. I actually really like it, but I, I don't know. It's really pretty. I was actually gonna put it on my hands, but I'm like, mm, that's not actually a color. I feel like that's a mom color. No? It is. I don't want that one. Don't want you that don't one. want that? No. That's that's red. I don't want that one. Okay, so this one. Oh, I love that too. Yeah, this one's really pretty. Well, it's got some purpley in it too. And this one, I feel like might be a little bit too Christmassy. That's a nice color too, actually. Yeah, they are. And then these, I just... I think these two go together nice. Are you as organized as your daughter? At work. At work I'm organized. But not at home? Um, not so much at home. No, I used to be. You are very organized at work. Um, and as far as labeling everything at work, oh gosh, yes. Yeah. Um, if it doesn't have a label, something's wrong. Well, it must have been having an off day. But Talia's definitely taken it next level. But she also needs to because of the the products that she has here. I mean, it's, yeah, you can't lose track of this. No, and I, like, I I have to be, like you said, I... Oh, there's Steve running up and down the hallways. Oh, yeah. But I am organized for what I need, and positively, um, everything... Nice still okay. Um, everything, if it's an electronic file, has a file name and path on the bottom of it. You're really um, good at digital organizing. That's one area really I good. really lack in. Hence my 40,000 emails on my phone. I, I couldn't live with that. I can't. I, like I, I, it's just gotten so bad I just leave it. We see Talia being a great mom with her girls, and I know she gets that from you. But <laughs> was she always a good little girl and a great teenage daughter? Do you want to answer that one? No, I, it's, <laughs> the question is directed to you. Um, was Talia always a good little girl? Talia was a bully. What do you mean I was a to bully? To her brother. Not all the time. Not all the time. Okay. I was a jerk to him though, but not... Well, not, how was I when I was okay. little? But like, not when, not in things that matter. Like some of the stuff that kids come out um, with, um, you're adopted, sh shut, them off, shut the light off and chase them into the room and close oh, the door. Oh, and I made him eat bugs. Things. And you made him eat bugs. Yes, you did. I remember that. I remember telling him that he had to eat ants in case he was ever alone in the wilderness. The things <laughs> kids do, like... Oh my gosh. So if that's the extent of it, great. She was not um, a difficult teenager, I can tell you that. She was uh, awesome to have around. Of course you have your blow ups, but those will only happen rarely and usually over little things. So she was never a troublemaker. She was never in trouble. We've always been pretty close. We have. Mm -hmm. um, I actually haven't heard any of the stories about you guys when you take the vehicle borrowed the van and oh we places, used to drive so. that thing like yeah. into the ground yep my mom's old ass not astro was it astro, astro yeah man. i yeah. don't know how many kids you fit in there i don't want to know any stuff. of that stuff no you don't want to know any of that stuff <laughs> and he like me looking back as like a teenager i'm like why did we do such dumb stuff and, like my dumb stuff wasn't even like Oh, your dumb crazy stuff dumb was stuff. tame. Yeah. I've always been like by the rules though. You tell me not to touch the stove. Okay. Very much so. You yeah. trust that what I'm telling you makes sense yeah. and, and you adhere accordingly. Yeah. Which is actually kind of interesting that I have a career where I make my own rules then. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably why I'm good at it. Like why I like it though, right? I don't overly love being told what to do. Dawn, has Celia always been as organized as she is now? No. You don't think so? No, you, oh, your room. Yeah, no, she made a big mess. I like did her, make a big mess in that space. Her clothes everywhere. Yeah, um, it was bad. It was bad. But I think I had like some depression and stuff going on. And, and this is, yeah. I, I, I marvel at you and Kyle at how well you've turned out for the most part um, with everything that we've been through. Um, yeah, I, there was And when you guys are asking like teenage questions, like that wasn't the best years, I guess. No, it was For not. like our family. So it was not. it's kind of hard to even like think of those times. Like I know my mind blocked a lot of that time out. And mine as well. Yeah. Mine as well. Steve can attest to the messy basement too. <laughs> Cause I remember he was like, really? <laughs> like this is how messy it is. And yet he's still with me. So. <laughs> 
But no, I am much more organized these days. <laughs> I don't mind this one, that'll go with what we're doing too. Or just plain gold. Do you want this one? Beautiful. Yeah, let's do that one. Is that what's on your nails now? No, I have rose gold on, but I was gonna put this one on. I was trying to decide between this one or the rose gold. Uh, Lori. Hi, Dawn. First, you've raised an awesome daughter. I think so. I know that for a fact, actually. The videos with you two are my favorite. Your relationship is admired. First, I'm wondering if you were, I'm wondering if you were close with your mother and Talia close with her grandmother. Um, my mom had raised seven kids. She was a stay-at-home mom. She was a professional homekeeper, homemaker, uh, child rearer. I thoroughly enjoyed my upbringing. We um, lived out on an acreage. We spent a lot of time together and mom was an excellent mom. Which is why it saddens me that she passed away years before Talia and Kyle were even born. Both of my parents passed away by the time I was in my mid-twenties. My mom passed away when I was 21. My dad passed away a few years, few years later and I didn't even have children until my late twenties. So my mom missed out on meeting this little lady here. <laughs> she would have loved to pieces and my son, oh my gosh, she would have thoroughly enjoyed both of my kids. And were you close with your mom? I was very close with mom. Yeah, mom was a fantastic little five foot one lady if she was five foot at all. That's where I get my shortness from. Yes, you're welcome, Because the rest of my family, I feel like it's pretty tall. Would you agree with that? Like, agree. Kyle's tall, Dad was tall, you were tall. You got it from my mom. A short little thing. So here's your swirl options. Sweet swirls. I need to reorganize these again. It's the story of my life. That's why there's no stamping organization video. You have a visitor. Hi! Hi. Who's here? Did you have a sleep? Yeah. Yeah, just a little short one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello, doll. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. Grandma and Grandpa brought, brought their trailer home. Yes, but we don't remember. Oh, I know. outdoor floor, the outdoor water bags. Slides. What slides? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, but we are diving board on our back and it's a big water book too. Did Daddy show you pictures of where you're going? Yeah, another day. Awesome. Okay, Sarah's question. What did you think Talia would end up doing when she grew up? And were you surprised or does it make sense? Hi, Sarah. Her education was taking her into business management and I truly figured that's the way she was going. Um, I didn't know she had such a love of the nail industry or nail art or doing nails or... So is it a surprise? Uh, yeah. I actually didn't either. I mean, like I said, I've always loved doing nails, but um... I didn't so think I'd love it this much. Which job was coming to an end? Was that the college? When yeah, you when I college? took it full time. No. Yeah, because it was uh, supposed to be a year contract, I think, and then they cut it at like nine months or something like that. And during that time, I was working like every night doing nails. Steve Mom, can attest to this. Hi, honey. What? You did paint my nails. I should paint your nails, sweetheart. And it was just too much for us because I was working all day whatever it was, nine to five. And then I'd go do nails from like 5.30 until nine. And so Steve was doing the laundry and the cooking and all of the things, and it just got to be too much. So when the job ended, it was almost like a blessing because it's like, well, let's try this then. <laughs> what do you think about your gel polish nails? I like them. Do you like the shortness? No, I like, I like my nails a little longer. Do you? Yeah, I don't know, I'm all So has this got a strength that will help my nails? Yes, um, like when I wore Luminary, it, um, it's very strong. Very, very, very strong. So we'll be interested. I'll be interested to see how it works on you because I've never used it on people. Like I've always used it on myself.
this top gloss is amazing. Like it's the only one I've ever used that doesn't separate over stamping and doesn't eventually separate over stamping. Cause some I use, it seems like at first they're really good and then they um, eventually start to separate. This stuff doesn't, it's amazing. Okay, that's it mom, that's your Q and A. You survived all the questions. Awesome. You've got people that know all about things from way back when. Some people have been with me since like the absolute very beginning, like, and not just like when I was on a YouTube channel, like they've been following me on Facebook and, cause even before I started YouTube, I posted things on Facebook too, right? Like mm -hmm. a little bit more personal things on Facebook. So some people have been with me since like the very beginning of being on social media. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video and all of you who participated in this Q&A, you guys asked some fantastic questions. I couldn't include all of the questions in this video or it would have been way too long, but I appreciate all of you who have supported me for so long as well as who participate in these Q&As because the questions you guys ask are what makes it really fun to do as well as really fun to post. So make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.